Hi, I'm Mike Hemphill with Maxess. Today I'm going to show you how to float mount a global mag power brake. And the reason for float mounting would be to take any of the eccentricity or run out, if you will, off of the bearing and allow this brake to not rotate but yet apply its braking force as the shaft turns. If any type of run out happens, it won't be transferred into the bearing. So this is the MagPower Global Brake and it's currently mounted and we have a plate here and this plate is representing a customer structure that would be here if he had some type of wall or, or anything that was like a plate. Um, we are going to use these screws that stick through the back. They will penetrate through the wall structure. We're not going to put any um, nuts on the back here. Everything will be held on by the collar set screws here. So we're going to remove those first to take the brake off so I can show you how they go through. And we'll back both of those out and remove the key. And we'll slide the brake out. As you see there's a little bit of gap in there. The holes are oversized so it will allow a little bit of play to take any of the run out or eccentricity off of the bearings inside the housing here. So, Okay, so now we're going to put the brake back on and what we're going to do is we're going to line up these three screws that poke through from the front into the customer structure which will have three oversized holes drilled in it or even one if you will. You could cut off these top two or any of the three leaving one to penetrate through the structure and it will create the anti-rotation needed to make a break. So we slide that back on, we'll line up our screws with the holes in the structure and we'll push them through. We'll line up our key and we'll insert our key and tighten down the set screws in the collar. And once you've got that done, you can see that our screws poke through. We're not going to put any nuts or anything on them. They'll simply be held on by the collar. And we have a little bit of play in there, which will take all of the eccentricity and out around run out from whatever's going on here, and it'll take it off of those bearings. And that's how you float mount a global mag power brake. You've seen one way to float mount a mag power global particle brake and now I'm going to show you another way. Um, we've manufactured this inexpensive little strap using basically a rod in, a spacer, a bolt, and a, a piece of aluminum for a strap. Um, you could use any material as long as it's a, a stiff and sturdy material. Um, I've drilled a hole into a lower stand here. If you didn't have a customer structure or a plate or something there, this is the method that you would go to stop the rotation of the brake. Um, I'm going to screw this into a hole that I drilled and tapped. And then I'm going to go ahead and install my brake. Now when connecting to the strap, you can use any of the holes or any of the bolts that protrude through the housing. And so I'm just going to pick one and slide it together. I'm going to use a nylock nut. And the reason why I chose to use the nylock nut is because I can lock it on there and keep it in position without using a, a jam nut or anything like that. And it'll keep that nut from backing out while the brake is running. So now that we've got that on there, you can see we have a little bit of play, which again is for the float mount, so we lose any of the run out that's happening to the shaft here. We're using a Tidlin bow shirt safety check to demonstrate this. However, this could be any shaft coming off of a customer's uh, roll here. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and line up our keyway 
and insert our key. Okay, so after you've installed your key into the keyway, we're going to go ahead and lock down the set screws that are in the collar. And that will lock the brake onto the customer shaft. We still have the floating of the brake due to the strap that we've installed on the back. That allows the brake to have a floating mount to the customer shaft and any run out or eccentricity of the shaft will not be transferred to the bearings alone but distributed to the whole brake. And so that is another method to float mount a mag power particle brake.